How's it going, everyone? Tech here, and we are back playing a different game this time. Hopefully the sound works. It is Episode 1, Pod Racer. This game was released for the Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, a mobile system that I cannot seem to remember, and the PC in 1999, following the release of the very much hated, yet, in my opinion, not nearly as bad as everyone says it is, Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. I love this game. This is one of the best games that was made at the time. And the way we are going to be doing this... How do I, how do I have this set up? The way we are going to be playing this is I'm going to be doing a single level every episode until we are finished with the game, and hopefully I will finish first in every single one, some of them getting way harder the farther you go. And I don't care what you want. I will be playing as the guys that I like. Let's make this... Uh, let's make it LP. I totally missed the L. L. P. T. Life Pro Tip. Okay. We're playing as Life Pro Tip, and we're not going to be playing as Anakin Skywalker. We're going to be playing as, not Dudbolt, maybe guys Gano. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Let's just look at the, all the other guys. These are the guys you start out with. But in my opinion, guys, Gano is one of the best that you start out with. Uh, he's got a really high top speed. His acceleration isn't that great, but he's got... Uh, and he doesn't have really good cooling. Uh, but he has good repair, so when we're boosting, we can do that. If only I can remember the repair button. Uh, now we have the Executioner Ring, which we're not going to be doing. We're going to be doing the Amateur Pod Racing Circuit to start out. And the first map we are going to be doing in this episode is Tatooine. Uh, and we are going to make it winner take all. I actually... <laughs> Um, earlier beat one of my, my lap records here. So, um, yeah, see right there, 53, uh, 950 is my current lap record. And we're going to do winner takes all because I know I'm going to win this one. If I can remember the controls. Uh, and we're not going to worry about anything because we don't have any money. So let's start the race. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, the reason why I am playing the N6, this is the N64 version running on an emulation, unfortunately. Uh, I do own the PC version, and I have tried every single version that I wow, could possibly try. It's the galaxy famous Gazgano. Gazgano. Now, the reason why I wouldn't really want to play the um, the N64 version is because the N64 version's right, graphics just aren't as good as the PC graphics. And I've uh, got a little boost there, running off the track and all that, but that's okay as long as we don't... Oh, I totally forgot to turn that boost off. That's why I couldn't turn. Um... Uh, the PC version, which I played as a kid, uh, has better graphics, obviously. Uh, it can run better resolutions. It has better uh, system settings. The textures are crisper. Everything looks better. But unfortunately, it, it doesn't like to play on... Um, oh, let's see if we can't... Yeah, there we go. Uh, it doesn't like to play on 64-bit systems, and especially doesn't like to run... Oh, oh, yeah, got it. All right, this is a good boost area here. If I can actually get on the track instead of messing everything up while I'm talking. Oh, there we go. As I said in my playthrough of Shoot, I Got Abducted, I have a hard time uh, walking and chewing bubblegum at the same time, as it is st stated. Uh, so, uh, playing the game and talking is a little bit hard. But yeah, the, uh, the version of this game that is... Um, on the PC is a lot better. I tried to play the Dreamcast version uh, for all the seven people that actually own a Dreamcast um, on an emulator, but that ROM wasn't working. So unfortunately, we get to sit with the N64 version, which is the same game. It just doesn't have quite the same settings, doesn't have quite the same feel. The cutscenes are different. Um, see, the reason why the emulator wasn't working, uh, or not the emulator, the uh, PC version wasn't working, like I said, 64-bit systems don't agree with it, or vice versa. Oh, shit, shit. Well, we saved it. We pulled it out of the way. Let's see if we can't do a repair there on the engine. Nope, the engine's good. All right, let's see if we can maybe get some heat on those engines for a little bit of a boost. Cut those boosts off. And we are on the final lap. Not quite doing as well as I uh, have in, in the past, but I am not really going to risk much here because I don't want to risk looking like a noob playing one of my favorite games on the internet. Boy, oh boy, but this is going to be one hell of a ride, guys. These episodes are going to be coming out one after the other, so look for them. Uh, but yeah, I like the PC version a lot more, 
but it didn't like my sound card either. It said that there was no sound card detected. Um, it had the original mouse controls that I remember, which is kind of awesome. Uh, and I don't have a joystick around to um, use the joystick, but I'm assuming that the joystick controls are pretty cool. Uh, speaking of mice, uh, I mentioned that I was having mice problems <laughs> in one of my episodes of Shoot I Got Abducted, and it's really funny because this is an old MX-400, uh, and the MX-400 by a lot of people is considered one of the best Logitech mice that uh, was ever released. I think it got, got discontinued in 2008, and for the win! First place, awesome. Uh, it was one of the um, first, it was, it was discontinued in 2000, uh, like 2008 or something. Oh, uh, graphical glitch there. And um, I still have one from 2007, 2006, and it is falling apart. And uh, one day the scroll wheel stops working. Let's uh, end that there and look at the beautiful winning uh, screen. There we go. A whole five seconds before Sebulba. Suck it, Sebulba. I get your 200, 2,200 targets. Haha. -ha. And we have beaten the first race with a lot of money. Uh, but the scroll wheel stopped working, and for some reason it, it stopped working for about a day, and I fiddled with it, and I figured it out, and that finally worked. And then yesterday I was clicking on the mouse, and I, I leave the room uh, to go make some food with my girlfriend, and I come back, and I start clicking it, and the click clicky button on the left uh, clicker look at me I'm I just I can't seem to get over that uh, shoot I got abducted that language it was too fun the uh, the left mouse button just was kind of sticky and kind of broken feeling and I was like crap now I need to get a new mouse so I'm trying to deal with the clicking as I'm looking through micro center and uh, how about as I do this we um, oh nope that is not the way to go uh, how about as we do this, I'll select the thing and we can inspect the vehicle. So you guys have something cool to look at while I'm talking about this. Um, don't have any pit droids or anything here. Um, I have one. Cool. Uh, as I'm searching... Yeah, you tell him, guys, Gano. I, I, I sort of hit it to try and get it to work, and it worked. It just started clicking again. Now, I don't know if it stopped working because it was lonely or because or whatever, and I don't know if it was uh, getting jealous that I was looking at other mice, albeit significantly cheaper, um, looser moral mice on the internet, uh, but it just decided to work again. So it is the mouse from the dead. This is the third time I thought it was broken, and it is back. So hopefully we'll be able to use it for maybe another year. That'd be nice because, you know, I'm a broke college kid who uh, can't afford mice. Um, but anyway, that is the full length of my mouse story. Hopefully we won't be uh, going too much more into that. Hopefully it isn't going to be an issue because this mouse is one of my favorites. All the texture on the sides is like worn off. You can barely read the uh, the model number on the bottom. Uh, the cat hasn't gotten to this one, so that's good. But anyway, uh, this has been the first episode of Star Wars Episode 1, episode one Pod Racer. If you like what you see, leave a comment down below. If you want me to play a certain Pod Racer, if you want me to play a certain Racer, um or a certain pod, let me know, but I sort of have my favorites, and I think that's what I'm going to go for. Uh, but if you guys really want me to play one that I've unlocked, leave a comment down below. I might play as one, make you happy about that. Uh, if you haven't already, hit subscribe. I'm going to be doing this whole game. It gets hard later on. You guys are going to watch me blow this guy up. You haven't seen me blow this guy up. Um, but yeah, that's definitely it. And as the races get longer, the episodes are going to get longer. Uh, so, this has been Tech playing Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racer. Let's get that right, Tech. Jesus Christ. And I will see you next time.